Welcome to The Fleet. Today, we're taking a look at 10 things to keep an eye on when you're buying a used BMW i3. These cars are awesome. Definitely do your homework to make sure you're not getting a stinker. Let's go, Olive. Number one, suspension boot tears. Just take a peek into the wheel wells to see if everything is okay. The one on this side is good. The other side, however, is torn to ribbons. Ouch. Can you ignore it? Sure. But here's some things that can happen if you don't get it fixed. The cost at the dealer to fix it is pretty expensive. Number two, limited tire selection. The i3 runs huge wheels with skinny tires. These are the 20 inch optional wheels. Since the tires are made specifically for this car, there's only one tire available for it in the United States, a Bridgestone Ecopia that needs to be replaced fairly frequently. Some users only get 15 to 20,000 miles out of theirs, myself included. Number three, check the cup holders. These cars can accommodate up to three cup holders, one built into the console and slots for a couple more at the front. The removable ones are commonly missing on used cars, so take a look at the interior photos on listings because they are expensive to buy separately. Bruh. Number four, door seal damage. It's fairly common to see damage to the door seals at the bottom, especially on the driver's side. It's in a spot where the sill comes up and your foot hits it when getting into the car. To replace it, it's about $120. Number five, seat heater headaches. The seat heaters in this car have been known to fail prematurely. It's easy enough to test though. Just start the car and turn them on. You should only have to wait about 10 to 15 seconds before feeling the heat. Number six, charge port cover tethers. I've seen a good number of these broken or missing on used i3s. It's pretty thin plastic, and with temperature cycles, they get brittle and break. Just be careful you don't drop and lose your charging caps. If you want to keep them attached, there are 3D printed ones for about 10 bucks. Number seven, fuel door doesn't open. This one is specific to the Rex models with the gas power generator. Since the gas can sit in the tank for a while not being used, the car pressurizes the tank. Sometimes the sensors or actuators fail and the door won't open. Test it out to make sure. Number eight, 12 volt battery failures. i3 has a 12 volt battery to power the accessories like a regular car. Things get weird when it starts to fail because it's buried in the back of the front compartment and you have to take a lot of things apart to get to it. Check and see if a new one's been installed recently or get your tools ready. Number nine, door card warping. The upper dashboard and door panels are made from natural plant fiber. That's this gray stuff. It's eco-conscious and lightweight in keeping with the theme of the car. However, it can tend to flex and warp as cars get older and the seals don't hold on as tight. Finally, number 10, badge and emblem issues. The front badge is about $50 to replace and the blue ring's a part of it. The back also loses its color, but it's up to you whether or not to replace it. That's it for today. Subscribe for more. See you next time.